Welcome to Motor City Blues, presented by the Detroit Blues Society. My name is Dave Danielle. Today, we're going to feature the incredibly talented Chris Gannis and his band performing at the 20th Annual Beatstock Festival back in July of 2015. Detroit's Prince of the Blues guitarist Chris Gannis jumped right into Detroit blues scene when he met local singer Thornetta Davis and joined her band. His talent as a musician quickly achieved a style in which soul music and funk rhythms decorated a guitar that spewed direct and electrifying blues. After several names that he discarded, he founded the Chris Canis Band and released the first album that same year. Canis is not only an excellent guitarist and composer, he has to his credit a wide range of musical virtues that place him at the forefront between the most innovative contemporary bluesmen in Detroit. So sit back and enjoy 30 minutes of Chris Gannis performing live here on Motor City Blues.
Got to get my head out of the Thank <laughs> you. 
Traditions too. Do you know what I'm talking about? How many people know what I'm talking about? So, should we do it? That was half hearted. You guys want to hear one more from this band or what? That sounded more like a heat stock. Can we please have one more? The Chris Kennis band, put it together. the blue. Sing along, y'all. Don't be shy, we ain't gonna make fun of you. 
Are we gonna say, hey, hey, the blues is all right, help me out. That's it for this show. We'd like to thank the Chris Cannis Band for appearing on this program and videographer Tom Sardowski for use of his vast video collection. Don't forget to check out the Detroit Blues Society website to find out how you can become a member. See you next time here on Moda City Blues.